So what have I done to change my yard from toad free to uh, what it is now? Um, well, they can't lay eggs in the pond here at all. It, um, it, the pump would eat them. Right now the pump is down, so I've got a, uh, another pump in it. Just keep things flowing, keep the fish alive. Um, it's pretty much crystal clear in there. Uh, toad wise, these guys are everywhere. I really should be watching out because, like, there's one. Um, took a picture of the ones that were right around this area, but what did I do? Really, what did I do? So, we took up the grass here. I dug a little hole here exactly for this retaining water. We uh, pulled tadpole or toad eggs. All right. I should just say eggs because I couldn't tell they were toad. They weren't really in strands, but like after the dog walking through, the rain, heavy rain we've had, they could have broken up, uh, hard to say. And with all the toads right now, I believe they were toads. So I did transfer them to the backyard. Uh, what have I done? Well, it's hard to see because it's nighttime, but I put pillars, all that ground cover. I moved to more locations. Um, like I said, hard to see. We've got lights. Um, it's a little bit late on. I'm not sure what time it is, but um, yeah, most of the solar lights are dying at this point. You can see we put lights around the pillars. That was Christie's doing with the uh, solar lights. Um, but again, what did we do? Well, promoted it with more ground cover. Um, we're changing the grass out little by little. Um, yeah, I moved ground cover over there. I weeded all of that. You can see it's underwater. It's, it's hard to tell, but it's definitely underwater. Um, hopefully the banana, the banana that's giving us bananas is going to uh, soak some of this up. The bird of paradise, I've moved another one of the lady, red lady bananas out here. And then I've got my three bananas way out out, 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 out there. Um, not way out. It's like 20 foot. Anyway, um, so right now the water, or the yard is underwater. Um, this, well, my headlight's dead, so you don't get that anymore. But I have an external camera. So anyway, or a built-in camera, I should say. Anyway, so as you can see, the yard is definitely underwater. This is where the dogs have dug. We've got a towel down to break up some of the uh, the weeds because we don't really have grass, so we're putting grass seed down. Um, yeah, so hopefully because these bananas are going to be out here, they'll start soaking up some of this. This happens every year. Um, well, mostly every year. I mean, it's deep, 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 deep water couple inches in some places it's uh some places it's ankle deep water um but i purposely put this ankle deep pond here because i want the frogs to lay the eggs there toads all of it um, unfortunately, this headlight is going to crap out in a second, but, uh, it's the same one I filmed uh, a week ago or so, posted. Um, I'm going to do a loop for y'all, a loop of what I've been doing. I'm editing it to be a little more clear, but also, um, have a different start, same start as this video. And it's going to have the rain constant in the background just to even things out. But um, it's basically what I've been using to edit or to uh, attract the toads on top of carrying toads on walks to back to the house and using those calls to keep them here. Anyway, hope this helps you guys. Hope the next video with the frog calls helps you more. It's kind of a large upload. Um, so yeah, it'll be an hour long, at least. Um, I think I don't have space for the two hours.
which I'd like to do, but I'll do an hour long. Anyway, I hope you like this. Um, hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll be giving you guys more in the future.